I just got activated on delivery platform Dispatch as a courier here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Surprisingly, just after a couple of weeks on the wait list, a lot of the times it might be a lot longer, especially on, let's say, Amazon Flex. To be a driver on Dispatch and they're delivering from a whole lot of different industries, which gives you more and more options to actually get a request as a driver, but there's no vehicle logo or vehicle age restrictions and you can use a standard standard sedan, two or four door, a midsize SUV crossover, a pickup truck, or a cargo van on the platform. Now in this video, I'm going to take you through the entire onboarding process. So you know what to expect because it's not necessarily cut and dry, which you might think here. There's positives and negatives that you should know before you even bother signing up. Now here's where Dispatch starts to stand out from let's say Amazon Flex. So you can see here, if you have a Department of Transportation operating authority for a box truck, you can put that here. Any driver skills you mentioned when signing up, they're mentioning the TWIC or MC numbers here. Also any personal protection equipment or PPE, they're asking to provide a photo for that here as well. Speaking of photo, they're asking for a photo that shows the entire length of your vehicle front to back in daylight. Now I'm surprised, take a look here, Here's my work vehicle, my 2015 Volkswagen Passat. Surprised they didn't ask for more pictures, usually just reviewing the vehicle's condition. But I guess they literally say as long as it's in fair condition, so cosmetically, they really don't care. That's gonna be an advantage over other side hustles that really do care about cosmetic damage. Now here, importantly, if you're one to really comb through a terms of service as an independent contractor, because all of these gigs, side hustles, when they bring you on as an independent contractor, there's some kind of terms of service, terms of use, independent contractor agreement, user agreement, it's all the same thing. It's detailing your usage of the platform as a 1099 contractor. Now I'm not gonna review this entire lengthy contractor agreement in full here. Feel free to pause the video as we're going through this entire agreement. Again, feel free to pause if you'd like to read the full agreement. Now, really for any app, you're gonna see this next part frequently on these other gigs and apps that you sign up for. So when you agree to be a 1099 contractor, there has to be some tax and payment linkage between the company and you as a 1099 contractor. Not just the agreement, that's just terms of service, just rules, regulations, arbitration, that's in there. But the linkage between, again, taxes, payment, sending over to you, there has to be some documentation, that's through this W-9. Here is your standard W-9. You're gonna see this form again across different apps and different platforms. So here, you're gonna enter your full name, your address, now, when classifying your relationship to the company, most people are gonna indicate individual slash sole proprietor. Now let's move on to these PAIC documents. Now this is actually coming from the Professional Association of Independent Contractors. Now this is relating at least in part to the insurance provided from dispatch to you as the independent contractor. You can see that echoed here by what the PAIC does. We provide membership benefits, information, and insurance programs specifically geared to the needs of independent contractors. And we can see what Dispatch says here about the supplemental insurance. They say they provide supplemental accident insurance to all drivers. Dispatch covers all the fees and you will never see a deduction from your pay. We provide this to our drivers in case they are ever in an accident and need any supplemental insurance. All drivers are required to be covered by this insurance to drive with a Dispatch. Now don't worry about that. That is no different. That is standard from basically all of these apps and gigs in the side hustle economy. From Uber and Lyft to DoorDash, Uber Eats to Shift and Instacart. Frankly, let me know if there's a company that doesn't provide their contract contractor supplemental insurance. So this is the standard here. And you can see here the rates and coverage levels of the occupational accident insurance plan. Next, another PAIC agreement, this time talking about how that supplemental insurance is not workers' compensation. That's something completely different. Dispatch is not doing workers' compensation. They're doing the supplemental insurance. Now, interestingly here, you're going to want to know this. It says, I wish to apply for membership in Professional Association of Independent Contractors here after referred to as PAIC in exchange for payment of monthly dues. I would imagine most all of this is a formality and there's never going to be a separate withdrawal. And Dispatch even said that before this, there's never going to be a separate withdrawal 
of your monthly income. Now, don't leave this video because this next part is pretty controversial and it will directly affect your wallet. Before we get into that, can you drop a like on this video? Consider subscribing. This is all I do here. I help you make money in different side hustles. Now, they're saying to become an independent contractor on the Dispatch Network, we require that you complete Dispatch Driver Certification. The driver certification fee is $40 and covers a background check screening, onboarding training, and a dispatch new driver kit. But when you complete 10 jobs in your first 30 days, you will receive a $50 new driver bonus. I know what you're saying, okay? I, in recent memory, help me out down below in the comments, but I've signed up for most every single major side hustle there is since 2015. I can't really remember many, there might've been a few, that ask you to pay for the background check. But I've been seeing this more and more. I just signed up for GoShare, which is another logistics and career platform who also asked me to pay for the background check. Now they said, if you already have a completed background check recently, you can send it to us. So that's what I did. Now, understandably, that could just turn you off to the platform entirely. Like you're already asking me to pay money for my background check when most every other company just eats that cost as a business expense like DoorDash, they don't make you pay, do they? Uber or Lyft? And of course, they're trying to sweeten the deal here that says, hey, you know, 10 jobs, first 30 days, you get a $50 new driver bonus. I mean, I get it. I don't hate that. It's just, it's not obviously ideal. Now, if you do want to sign up with any of these platforms that do have you pay a background check, let's say, keep that receipt because that is 100% a business expense for your 1099 independent contractor work. That's important because come tax time, you can use that as a write-off. So here's an example and some info for you, obviously with my info <laughs> removed, of course, but you can get a copy as well. And you should opt to get a copy because again, at least for GoShare, if I'm remembering correctly, they're asking for a current background check in the last three months. So that's good to go. My background check, it's cleared. It went through. It only took what? two or three business days. Typically, it's going to be between one to five business days. I think three to five on average business days. Next steps. So you signed up, you signed all the forms, you went through the background check, the background check came back, it cleared. Now what? Now I'm ready and you would be ready to actually take runs. Once they send you an email with instructions to download the driver app and really turn on your profile. So that's next. But in the meantime, you might as well give yourself more options if you're interested in the logistics delivery courier space and you don't just want to do Amazon Flex, maybe Walmart Spark, but that's kind of grocery, like actual other industries, then take a look at GoShare as well. Considering I just went through that onboarding process as well. So I'll leave a video here. You can click or tap the screen to watch that next.